Hi, this is Grace Pamela with SummerOnNet.com, and this is the preview and tutorial for the new Fairy Dust uh, Brush in Photoshop Action Collection. So here I already have my Action Collection uploaded, and if you go to my brush settings, I have my brush right here. To load your brush, you just click Load Brush and then click your brush. And that's in Photoshop, and in Elements, to load your brush, you click your brush, click this little box here, click this little arrow up here, and then click load brushes. So here is my action collection. I'm going to show you how to set your fairy dust layer. Just press play, press continue, and here you have your layer already set to screen mode. Next you're going to want to select your brush, and then just select the color that you think would be good. It doesn't have to be um, permanent because later on you can change it. And I'm just going to be scribbling here. Just a quick example. You can also set it to linear dodge. It's a little brighter, but I wouldn't really recommend it because my actions are set to for screen. So it might look a little weird later on, but if you like just a quick one and you just want it set to a different one, you can also set it to a different blending mode. Or you can change it later on as you go through. So the only one I recommend doing first in your Fairy Dust Editor Actions is Dark Magic. This is um, this will select it if it's a light image, such as here. It would um, help you set it so that it pops more against your background if it's a light background. So you can see how it kind of frazzles out here. It's a little light. So you can click dark magic. Um, either all of it dark magic or brush on dark magic. For this one I'm just going to do brush on. And then I'm going to want to select a regular brush. You don't want to paint with your um, fairy dust brush. So here I'm going to choose zero hardness because I want a soft brush and a white paint brush because I'm going to be painting in a black layer mask. And you can see here how it just darkens it a little. You don't have to do the whole image. That would be the whole image. But you can just select the areas you wish to select. And that's just a quick example again. Back in Photoshop. You can do the same thing, but it's pretty much already dark here. Um, next, I'm going to do Bright Magic. And if you're going to be doing Bright Magic, you don't want anything clipped to this layer because it would just unclip it. If you do do that and you can just clip it back on, but it's it's better to just do this next. And there it will make them brighter for you. You can also lower the opacity wherever you like. And you can also do um, intense magic. And this will just make it darker, more intense, hence the name. You can also blur your fairy dust. Uh, sometimes you can do a separate fairy dust layer, and then I'll do it really quick. You can make like a really big one, just kind of add some blurriness and bokeh to it. And you can blur your fairy dust. You can blur it more. However much you like. Just an example. Um, every image will be different. To change your fairy dust color, press play. And here you can select a different color. You can select an area in your image or anything from the color picker box here. So 
whatever you like. If you'd like to change it, again, let's say you go back and you don't like it, you can just double click this little square here and you can change it. You can also brush on. Uh, if you already select the color and you also want to brush on, I'm just going to show you really quick. Let's say you want some green in there also. Just make sure it's above this one so that you're painting over this color. You're going to want a regular brush when you're painting. And just use a soft brush. So again, just an example. And also for your final image, you can add more color, warm up. You can adjust the opacity of each layer. If you want more color but not on your actual fairy dust, you can move this layer underneath your fairy dust layer and it will just color the background image there for you. You can also add um, more color again by duplicating this layer or playing the action again and you can do the same for all of them. Just if you want it more tense. You can add warmth. If you don't want it on your subject or if you don't want it wherever, you can use a soft black paintbrush and just erase off your subjects or wherever you want it to be. If you want it back on, use a soft white paintbrush. If you want to see where you're painting, use the backsplash on your keyboard and you can see where you've painted. You can also cool down and use your tools to help you along the way. So here's another image I'm going to show you. I already added more color and warm up um, just so we don't use up too much time here. But I'm going to show you a neat little trick here. I'm going to choose if something kind of light. Make sure my opacity is at 100%, and I'm going to make sure I have my brush selected. Now the size does kind of matter on these brushes, so just kind of play with it and see where you like it. Now down here, her lantern, if you want a big glowing effect, you can just make a small paintbrush and just kind of hold it for a little bit. And it'll start to build up. You can also make a new fairy dust layer and do that. You can hold it and move it around so it looks a little more realistic. If you want to, also, you can blur it a little bit so then it looks more glowing. I just wanted to show you that effect. And I think that's pretty much everything here that I wanted to show you in Photoshop. Now I'm going to go over into Photoshop Elements. I'm just going to show you it also works the same. So here I'm going to add some fairy dust in her lantern. And then I'm going to come into the layer mask here. Choose a regular brush, a soft brush. I'm going to zoom in here. And what you can do to make it look like it's actually in your lantern, use a black soft paintbrush. And you can kind of brush it off. I'm going to lower the opacity just so it looks more realistic here. You kind of brush it off the sides of your lantern so that it looks like it's actually in your lantern. That way it's kind of shooting out this way. If 
Okay, I'm going to add more color. And more color still. I'm going to warm up. Actually, yeah, I'm going to warm up a little. I'm going to add some coolness too. I'm going to brush some of the warmth off of my skin. Makes her a little too warm in her dress too. And the color. And here I'm going to click my fairy dust layer. Every time you want to change the color or add any of these effects, you need to actually click the layer and not the layer mask. Gonna add intense magic. Press continue if it says that. Just making sure that it's clipped to this layer. I'm gonna change the fairy dust color. I kind of like the pink, but I also kind of like it warm. So what I'm going to do is add this kind of pink looking color. And then I'm going to brush some of it off. Down here. There, now I have a, some of both. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much how you do it in Photoshop Elements. It's almost the exact same. And that's everything. Thank you so much for watching.